Lieutenant Colonel Alan West joins us. Good evening, sir. And should we walk or stay? And why, why to your answer? Well, you have to walk away. First of all, there is no change in the behavior of Iran that would make us believe that they are going to honor any commitment whatsoever. And if you really are a student of history, this reminds you of the Neville Chamberlain, Chamberlain Hitler moment when uh, Chamberlain had this uh, piece, of, this signed agreement that ended up being nothing but a piece of paper to Hitler. You know, the Iranians have expanded their hegemonic dominance in the Middle East while we've been sitting at a table basically begging them to uh, acquiesce or, or be complicit and we don't have a high ground. They have refused uh, on, on sanctions, they have refused on inspections, they have refused on the Iraq heavy water site, so there is nothing that they are agreeing to that shows that they are willing to be a peace partner or willing to uh, acquiesce to international demands. Congressman, they have brought uh, P5 plus one countries to the table. They are involved in Iraq and they are involved in this in the fight in Yemen. It seems like their global presence is getting bigger and bigger. Is this uh, inevitable or is this something that we have uh, through some uh, poor diplomacy or poor foreign policy brought upon ourselves in the world? Well, it's definitely the latter, because when if we had uh, embraced the Green Movement, which they stood up against the Iranian Ayatollahs and Mullahs and Ahmadinejad, we turned a blind eye to them, and we did not lend them any support whatsoever. That could have been a turning point. But now, instead, we have seen Iran grow, as you said. They're the number one state sponsor of terrorism. So what did the United States of America do two weeks ago? They removed Iran and Hezbollah off of that terrorist list. Hezbollah, which is the proxy army of Iran, is closing in on the Golan Heights against what is supposed to be our best ally, Israel. So right now we look impotent, we look weak, we look neutered. If we walk away, it seems inevitable that Iran will have a nuclear weapon. Saudi Arabia will want one. Turkey's going to want one. There's going to be an arms race that, that starts in that part of the world that is going to be like none other. It will change the world forever. So, does, so why is walking away even a good idea? Well, walking away is a good idea because if you sit there and continue to beg, that is the propaganda that they will use and the Supreme Leader is, Khamenei is already using, that uh, they have that high ground, that they are in power. Look, just the past weekend, he was heard uh, joining in in chants for death to America. We recently had a militia chief in Iran talk about how the destruction of Israel is non-negotiable. So why are we sitting at a table with these individuals who still have four Americans, Greta, held hostage to include one uh, American pastor, Saeed Abedini, so, and a Washington Post uh, writer. So if we walk away, they get a nuclear weapon. How can, we, how can the world live with that? They're not going to get a nuclear weapon if we walk away and we go back to the thing that was crushing them at the time, which were doubling the economic sanctions. But when President Obama stands up and chastises our legislative branch, which is a co-equal branch, saying that he will veto any legislation that reinstates those sanctions, that he will veto any legislation that allows the Congress so, to have approval of this agreement, then they do have the high ground and we look ineffective. All right, 30 seconds left. Um, are you saying that sanctions and, and cranking up the sanctions that that would do, that would be successful action I believe that will be the successful action. Look, I'm not the one standing around like Josh Ernest or the Secretary of Defense and talking about a military option when we have a military that is horribly spread thin. I don't think that's a viable option. I think the economic sanctions is the most viable option right now. Colonel, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Greta.